Two new casinos open in Las Vegas while another is set to double in size. Several new performers are getting residencies and we've got half a dozen different rumors to close out the year. We've got all that and more. So get ready for this month's video of Las Vegas news updates and rumors for 2024. The latest tourist numbers show that from the beginning of 2023 through the end of October, an estimated 34.1 million people had visited Las Vegas, which is a 6% increase from last year. The average price for a room on the Strip is now $199, an 11% increase, and the average room price in downtown has reached $105, a 5% increase. The Strip has made $7.2 billion so far in gambling revenue, a 6% increase, and downtown has made $753 million, a 3% increase. One of the biggest events in Las Vegas history will be in early 2024 when Super Bowl 58 kicks off on February 11th. Although Super Bowl weekend typically brings 200,000 or more people to Las Vegas, since Sin City is hosting the game this season, estimates have been as high as 500,000 people coming to town for this season's championship game. The economic impact has been estimated to be $500 million for the local Las Vegas economy. A small but very important construction project was finished on the Strip that will make life much easier for tourists. The indoor bridge connecting Bellagio, Vidara, and Cosmo is now complete. You can find the bridge at the Bellagio right near the free tram. It will lead you either directly into the lobby of the Vidara or you can turn to head into the Cosmo where you will see that it connects right by the Wicked Spoon Buffet. This will be a major convenience for travelers, particularly during the poor weather conditions. One construction project that will impact a huge amount of tourists and locals alike is the continuation of the construction on Tropicana Avenue at the I-15 freeway. The project began in 2023, but will continue throughout all of 2024 until it is expected to be completed in early to mid 2025. At this point in the project schedule, construction should be finishing on the north side of Tropicana and now switching to working on the south side of Tropicana until the second half of 2024, when the focus should then be on Dean Martin Drive. The completed project is expected to allow easier access to and from the strip with greater capacity and allow for future widening of I-15 since half of Los Angeles is moving to Las Vegas. The Fountain Blue Hotel and Casino opened its doors on December 13th, making it the newest property to open on the Las Vegas Strip. The grand opening featured celebrities like Justin Timberlake, Tom Brady, Cher, Tyga, and Paul Anka. There was no shortage of excitement as guests anxiously gathered outside until the public was allowed to enter. The property does bring a noticeable element of luxury to the north end of the Strip from the decor to the amenities throughout the casino floor and the hotel. It's been a long time coming for this property to get completed, so congratulations to the Fontaine Blue and all of the opening day employees. Welcome to the Strip. If you're a fan of 90s R&B music, then you'll be thrilled to know that Jodeci has announced a residency at the House of Blues at Mandalay Bay for 2024 called The Show, The After Party, The Vegas Residency. You'll have a chance to catch them perform either in the spring or in the summer. Spring show dates are March 15th, 16th, 20th, 23rd, and 24th. Summer show dates are July 5th, 6th, 10th, 12th, and 13th. Tickets are already on sale. Station Casinos has been very busy lately and working to increase its footprint across the growing Vegas Valley. Durango Station opened in the southwest part of the area on December 5th of this year. The company now has its sights set on building another new property in Henderson in the popular community of Inspirata. The new hotel casino on 49 acres was given the stamp of approval by Henderson's Planning Commission in November of 2023. The strong push for growth from Station Casinos is part of a plan that executives have to double the company's portfolio by the year 2030. The Rio Hotel and Casino continues to make progress on its renovations since the operations changed late this year from Caesars Entertainment to Dreamscape. The property has already renovated hundreds of its 580 square foot rooms and has announced that the Ipanema Tower transformation will be complete by February. There will also be a new sports book, a food hall in place of the old buffet, a renovation of the pool area, and several other new attractions and dining options once this phase is complete. Although the property is not offering a status match to Casino Rewards members, they do have a program to match your existing offers from other Las Vegas hotels. F1 will return to Las Vegas on November 21st through 23rd in 2024. This will be the second year of a three-year contract with an option to extend to 10 years if F1 agrees to. 
Preparations for the race will be taking place later in the year, although they should not be as intrusive as they were in 2023. The public is still waiting to hear about whether or not the commission will give F1 $14 million in public money that was requested back in June of 2023 to help with the construction costs. One potentially major change to Las Vegas that was proposed after the Formula One Grand Prix was an ordinance about stopping on pedestrian bridge in the tourist corridor. The Clark County Commission's aim is to ensure greater public safety on the bridges. It would prohibit individuals from stopping or engaging in an activity that causes another person to stop on pedestrian bridges or near escalators, elevators, or stairways connected to the bridges. If stopping on the bridge causes someone else to stop, you could be charged with a misdemeanor, which in Nevada is up to six months in jail or up to a $1,000 fine and does not come off your record unless you petition the court to have your record sealed. We have an update coming from one of the busier parts of the Las Vegas Strip. The Boulevard Retail Complex has announced who its first three tenants are going to be. Adidas, H&M, and Puma have all signed leases to open stores once the construction is complete. Each store will be around either 20,000 or 25,000 square feet. The 400,000 square foot complex is located across the street from the Aria Hotel and Casino and is expected to be completed by August 2024. The high-speed train project between Las Vegas and Southern California has been in the news headlines again. The website for Brightline West states that the project is near shovel ready and is expected to break ground in early 2024. This 218 mile passenger rail service will operate from Las Vegas to Rancho Cucamonga, California. The Brightline West site also states that the normal drive time from Las Vegas to Rancho Cucamonga is four hours and 20 minutes, but with the train reaching speeds of up to 200 miles per hour, that time will now be cut in half by using the high-speed train. M Resort is doubling its room capacity with the groundbreaking of a new hotel tower. The new tower will have 384 rooms, essentially double the property's total number of rooms. The Henderson Hotel and Casino is popular with locals, Raiders fans, convention travelers, and Californians visiting for the weekend due to its proximity to I-15. None of M Resort's currently operating public areas will be impacted by the construction. Work on the new hotel tower will begin no later than February 2024 and is expected to be finished within 18 months from beginning. Construction of the Oakland A's future stadium on the Las Vegas Strip has taken a slightly odd turn. The A's initially released renderings of the new stadium back in the spring of 2023. In late November, reports came out stating that the A's were going to release new renderings on December 4th. However, the organization decided to delay the reveal due to the two highway patrolmen that were struck by a vehicle a few days prior. One Sports Illustrated article points out that it's been almost two weeks and the A's have still not published new renderings of the stadium. Regardless, the current plan for the stadium is to be built on nine acres of the 36 acres that the Tropicana Hotel and Casino sits on. The A's plan to have the stadium ready in time for the 2028 season. We will now rapid fire some more updates before heading into the rumor section. The 2024 NHL draft will be held at the Sphere in June. Wu-Tang Clan is getting a residency at Virgin Hotel. The Mirage has officially started construction on its transition to Hard Rock. Blake Shelton's bar Old Red is under construction in front of Horseshoe. Dream Hotel construction is still stagnant at the south end of the Strip near the Las Vegas sign. The three affiliated tribes from North Dakota that bought over 20 acres of land for over $100 million to the south end of the Strip still have not announced future plans for the property. There are also no plans announced yet for the now defunct All Net Resort and Arena at the north end of the Strip. The Culinary Union recently reached a tentative five-year deal with Mirage, now Hard Rock, and avoided the possibility of a strike. Kanye West threw a rave party in Las Vegas that cost $2,000 per ticket but was shut down by police. No words if refunds will be given. Former Nye County Sheriff Sharon Worley passed away this month. The Golden Knights are in first place in the Pacific Division. President Biden and former President Trump both visited Las Vegas this month. Just four days after losing 3-0 to to the Vikings in the lowest scoring NFL game in 16 years, the Raiders set a team record by obliterating the Chargers 63-21. And the Bellagio Conservatory is in full winter display mode until January 7th when it will shut down to reopen on January 13th for the Lunar New Year. We will kick off the rumors section with some more news about Vegas residencies. Reports came out last month that Beyonce may be getting a residency in Las Vegas. What's unique about this potential deal is that it would not be on the strip but at the new sphere. This would make her the second musical act to perform at the venue following the debut of famous Irish rock band U2. One report stated that Beyonce wants $10 million in order to begin thinking about the deal. 
In addition to the class action lawsuit that F1 is reportedly facing from fans about the Grand Prix over Thursday night, there is talk they could be facing another class action lawsuit, this time from the numerous businesses that were negatively impacted for months by the massive amount of construction that took place to prepare for the event. Small businesses impacted by the preparations for the race collectively lost millions of dollars in revenue, were forced to either cut workers' hours or lay them off completely and cut quarterly bonuses. Another rumor that someone will be sad to hear about is a ride at the Strat is supposedly closing permanently. The big shot that shoots you up 160 feet into the air at 45 miles per hour has been down for some time, but there is a possibility that the ride will be closing for good. No word on if any of the other rides at the top of the Strat are being impacted. Another casino that is thought to be making notable changes in 2024 is Resorts World. Word broke out on social media that the property will be making changes to its player reinvestment strategy by revamping the loyalty program for gamblers. One quote in the social media post reads, the offers to players and guests are going to be way better in 2024 and there's a huge focus on locals. We want to be the locals casino on the strip. There's even more to talk about when it comes to more performers coming to Las Vegas. The rock band Dead & Company are reportedly in talks to do a series of concerts at the Sphere. No word on anything official yet, but right now it looks as if the concerts would be taking place in the summertime. A rumor that will be very interesting to many longtime Vegas visitors involves Treasure Island. The Avengers station that is currently on the property may be closing on January 2nd permanently. The latest is that a company executive would like to see a pirate-themed attraction built in its place, but nothing has been officially announced from the company. We appreciate all of you for being here with us throughout this year of 2023. We greatly look forward to doing more content for you in 2024. We wish you a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and see you next year. I am Jacob, and this is my life in Vegas.